Okay, so today we're looking at how to bleed a 1500 BMC diesel. Um, this one's a Bowman Marine, as you can see by the heat exchanger. But basically we're looking at what happens when you've run out of diesel and how to bleed the fuel system through. Now, most of them will have a secondary filter, usually on the back of the engine there. Then you've got your fuel pump round here. And then obviously your fuel injection pump right there. Now the first thing to do is you're going to have a primary fuel um, filter somewhere very much like this but offset from the engine. The thing to do is to get the diesel down to that. Um, the easiest way usually is either to loosen off a union and, and pull it through or you can slacken off the outlet from this through to the very far end of the injector pump and then use the fuel pump to pump it through. Now what you're looking for is you're looking for a fair old flow of diesel. Now to do it what you do is you activate this here, you've also got the small sort of pull knob if you wish to use that but what you'll do first of all just try and see if you can feel a good well I suppose a, a good throw on the arm if it seems sort of tight and you've only got a small bit, what you'll need to do is to rotate the engine because what you'll find is that the, the fuel pump, the cam, is holding it up. So just have a go and see. Now, what you'll be looking for is you'll be looking for fuel to come through if you're doing it and bleeding it out from here. Fuel to come out. Now, what usually happens is you'll find that it first of all starts to throw out a bit of fuel, some air bubbles, and then it'll, the fuel will come through, and it'll come through, and you'll think, yeah, that's all right, but keep going for a little while, because quite often you'll find another huge bunch of air comes through afterwards. Once you've pumped it down to here, then what you want to do is to get onto the injector pump itself. Now, I know it's a bit tricky to see, but you'll see on the left-hand side of the injector pump here, you see an 8mm nut, just there. Now, just nick it open, just a little, not far, nick it open and then make sure it's loose and then back to your fuel pump. You can usually reach over the engine and just pump. And what you'll see, I know it's quite dark, but um, what you'll usually see is you'll see this. Again, it'll start to throw diesel out and then you'll get air and then you'll get diesel and it quite often will look like you've got a good flow. But just keep going for a moment because you quite often find again there'll be a huge bunch of air behind it. Once you've got that one, you then nip that back up, like so, not too tight, just a little nip because it doesn't take much to seal them. Just nip it, and then the other one, which is on top of the fuel control. Can you see here? Sorry, extremely difficult to get into this one. Just on top of the fuel control, uh, there, hang on, there is another one. It's, uh, if you want to, uh, to orientate yourself, it's um, between the throttle and the stop arms, it's dead in the middle. So again, what you do there is you just nip it open. It's very difficult to get at this one, I'm afraid. Nip it open. Now, this will be a pig to bleed, okay? Absolute pig, because there's not much flow to it, because um, basically it's, it's bleeding the main body of the throttle control. So um, it's tricky to do. You're going to get a lot of very, very small bubbles. Um, Again, I don't know if I can pump that and show you at the same time. Um, you get a lot of very small bubbles coming out. And quite often, again, the same thing. It'll look like it's coming clear, and then it won't. Anyway, once you've got a flow down to there, nip it closed with your 8mm spanner, like so. I'll tighten it up first. It's very tricky to get out this one. Nip it closed, not too tight and then go on to an injector pipe. Now, my personal favorite method is to undo all four, to begin with, assuming they're quite loose and they're not, um, they're, they're, you're not gonna get any sort of, uh, you're not gonna twist the pipes or anything, so just nip it open, all of them, and turn the engine over for a few turns. Once that's there, now what you'll wanna do is you wanna do that with the throttle fully open. So obviously with a stop, set to the run position, right forwards, and the throttle set to flat out, right back. So what you're gonna do now, is you're just gonna, and you'll see 
that here you start to see the diesel run down the back of these quite often in spurts and once it's going I mean turn it over obviously don't run the don't turn it over for more than 10-15 seconds at a time um, on the starter run it for 10-15 pause for a few minutes do it again um, and quite often these aren't the easiest thing in the world to bleed so another thing I quite often do then is once I've turned it over a few times I'll come back here you can tell I've run out of diesel a few times in my boat, can't you? Um, come back to here and re-bleed this one, and obviously the one on the side as well. Now, once you start to get a good spurt from each of these, you'll actually start to see it. It'll ch down the back here. Good spurt from each. May take you three or four times turning over. My, what I like to do is I like to nip two of them closed and turn it over till it you just start to hear it start to try and fire. Then nip the third closed and start it, if it will, start it like that. If it starts, if it's trying for a moment and then it dies off, so then it stops trying to fire at all, obviously you do your normal um, startup procedure, so you'd be using your heater plugs, etc. If it doesn't want to fire, if it does it for a moment then stops, just start again. Go right back to the fuel pump bleed it through to the main, um, the, the, the main um, filter, bleed it down on the side of the injector pump, again there, you can tell because it's just above the little um, plate that says cav or whatever it's called, um, and then come back up on top again and then come back to all four, or if it's fired and died off, quite often just leaving two open will do. Um, there's different views on how many you should leave open, it's not going to really make a difference. Anyway, um, and then obviously what you've got to watch for is you're doing this with the throttle full open. As soon as it starts to fire, you're going to have to knock that throttle back or you're going to over rev. Um, and then as soon as it's firing, nip the last one closed. And there we are. That's you. Hope that helps.